What's up, peep? This is your boy Jay, and I am coming to you today with a video talking about coil springs. I went to the junkyard today and I picked up a couple of sets of uh, coil springs for my uh, natural lifts that I'm going to continue to do on my vehicles. And what we're looking at here is three different sets of coil springs here. Three. And the first one here is I got these off of a 2008 towel hole. So yeah, the second set here, I got off of a 2002 Avalanche Z71. And the third one here, I got off of a Ford Expedition, a 2002 Ford Expedition. Yeah, three sets of coil springs here, guys. <clears throat> I stood them all up so you can see the height of each spring here. But you can tell that the uh, Expedition spring is much taller than the Avalanche and the Tahoe spring, as you can see. Now, I'm doing a, um, if, anyone, if any of you guys have been following me, you've noticed that I've um, been doing a uh, conversions on my uh, Crown Vicks and Grand Marquis and stuff. Um, something called a Natural Lift. So I'm going to go down here to the white crown Vic so you can see it. And I can give you more detail of what the natural lift looks like. This is what I call a natural lift. This car has Ford Expedition coil springs in it. And F-150 monotube shocks, as you can see. So yeah, though, guys, these coil springs right here come off of a 1999 I believe 99 anything any expedition from 1997 to 2002 these coil springs here come off of them any expedition from 1997 to 2002 these coil springs right here come off of them these are the coil springs this is what makes this thing sits so high the way it sits this is why it sits up like this with these uh, coil springs. With those, like I said, those are the ones that come off the expedition. You see how tall this thing is with these expedition springs. It is sits up there. Now the avalanche springs are going to be slightly lower, which is fine too, because we're still doing a natural lift. So. As you see, I don't have two of my vehicles here. Two of them are not here. One will be ready tomorrow. The update for the Lincoln Town car. It will be ready for pickup tomorrow at the paint shop. So now let's go back to these springs, guys. Okay. Now, these Expedition Springs that I got right here, I am going to be using these Expedition Springs for the um, Blue Crown Vic once I get it back home and I will be performing the video showing you guys how to get these ones in there because you have to drop the suspension a little further to get these in there now I don't think you have to do so with these but the difference in these two like I said these this one comes off of an avalanche and you look at the top of it and see how small the top is and this one comes off the Z71 the Z71 has a more you know thicker round on the top so yeah these come off of a z71 here and these come off of a, like I said an a, a, a towel hole but as you can see that the um, expedition spring is taller so yes it is taller yeah two come from GM vehicles one come from trusty old Ford there so yeah guys, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be putting these springs in a couple more vehicles. Like I said, these here will go into the Blue Crown Vic. I will be using these Z71 springs for the town car. And probably these um Tahoe springs, I'll probably use these. Probably put those Tahoe springs into the red crown vic here. I may do I might put them into this one here. Um, but I'm gonna have to get a new set of shocks for this guy too. As you can see, that this one still got 
is coil springs with these in there. So I'm gonna be removing these, just like I'm gonna be, be removing these older F-150 shocks that I got in here and replacing these with a brand new set of F-150 shocks. Yeah, we'll be getting rid of those too. So like I said, no more of these adjustable lifters and all that. These things kind of shifted and rotated as you can see, but I'm gonna get them out of here. No more of that, guys. I'm trying to eliminate all of that from all of these vehicles. I may put them into this one as well. I want to get them out of here. All these adjustable lifts. See, this car already has the um, F-150 shocks, so I don't have to change the shocks on this car. I just have to change the springs. So I will be getting rid of these uh, 92 through 97 Crown Vic Grand Marquis. Lincoln Town Car Springs and doing a more natural swap with these. A more natural lift with these. So, this car, this car, and even the 2003 Grand Marquis here will be getting the spring up, up, you know, up, you know, changing. I also have to get a set of uh, shocks for these too. So, We'll be swapping these out as well. These springs and shocks will be coming out of this car as well. So stay tuned, guys. I will be getting these up out of here. So you'll see more of a natural lift on these cars than anything. That way, that's extra money we do not have to spend. Oh, yeah. And by the way, the junkyard that I got these from is LKQ here in Nashville, Tennessee. They do give you a $2 core charge for your coil springs. So when you buy these coil springs from LKQ, they give you a $2 core charge. And these coil springs was like 13 bucks. As opposed to buying them from my favorite place, Pull Apart, which does, which does not give you a core charge for them. And they're 15 bucks. So I got these from LKQ and I will be taking the old ones back. I got some else, some set of old ones. I will be taking those back and getting that core charge back for those springs. But guys, this is my conclusion to the natural lift builds that I'm doing on my cars here, guys. Because I do want them to have a more of a natural lift, a lift than just putting spring spacers and coil spring uh, uh, lifters and knuckles and all that stuff in there. I want to do my best to eliminate that, guys. So, with that being said, this is your boy Jay. I want you guys to be safe and peace. Your boy Jay, signing off.